left, depending on which angle you're looking at it from. And they are underway. Romero trying to get that right jab going early. Romero coming out southpaw stance. Same with Paul Ispis. Both men trying to find range early on. Ispis looking downstairs with that right jab. Romero backing his chin out of the way. Ispis testing the waters forward with the right hand. Ispis steps through with the left. Romero chasing him back down. Romero tried to club him over the top, but Ispis too quick out of the way. Ispis trying to work that left jab. Pardon me, that right jab. Looking to find a home for that straight left hand. That time the right jab to the body lanes. Again, Romero as well, working from the southpaw stance. Dives his way in, much like we saw Vergara in the last fight, to land that right jab. Romero trying to back Ispis down. Romero working to the body, Ispis shrugs him out of the way. Good work by Paul Ispis, did not want to get caught in that situation. Romero, very long, very wide stance. Ispis tried to send one up over the top, and Romero missed on the counter. Ispis catches him, found that hook with the right hand. Romero out of the way, again. Ispis trying back over the top. Both men have tested the waters, but not a whole lot of danger is landing. Again, Ispis trying to step his way forward. He tried to find that left straight. And again, Romero stepping back in front of him. Romero trying to track Ispis down. Landed the right hand and then the left. Ispis on the way back out, flashed the right hand. Couldn't find the landing play, but found it the second time around with the left. Right jab lands to the body. Oh, and then that time Romero went upstairs, Ispis at the same time, and they exchanged hard. Romero trying to walk him down. Ispis using that right hand to stay busy up high. Now the left hand lands, but Romero uses it to walk him back. Romero tries to dive his way in again. Ten seconds left in the first round. Ispis goes to the body, Romero went up high. Now Ispis peppers up top as Romero ducked. And a strong first round for both fighters. Ispis and Romero both took some time to find their range and find how they wanted to attack. But both men had their advantages in that first round. Much like we talked about in the last bout between Vergara and Cabanara, this one looks like it's going to be a tough one for the judges. Here. Ispis getting out of the way of him. 
Oh, Vispas damaging him with that right jab. Tried the left, now Romero stepping right into the pocket. Vispas is staying on his bike, but he seems to be, to this point, landing the harder punches. Romero trying to walk him down again. Nothing much landed on that exchange. And again, Romero lunging his way in, but he's telegraphing it. Ispis finding the way out with the quick footwork. And again, Romero just swinging wildly. At time, the right hand found a home. Oh, Ispis caught him as it looked like he was gonna spin all the way through and then step back in with that short under uppercut. Romero can't fight a home for either. Ispis damaging again with that right jab. Not a lot behind it, but doing enough to at least cloud Romero from coming forward. One, two, one. Again, Ispis staying very active on the bike, staying to the outside and working from there, using the reach advantage. Romero tried it up high that time, but didn't get enough on it. Ispis staying to the outside, landed one hard to the body on the outside with the left. Oh, Ispis, beautiful left hand that time as Romero left himself open. Now working the right jab up high. To the body went Romero. He tries it over the top. That time was able to pepper the right hand in. Romero opening up a little, but Ispis able to stay on there. Uh, Romero again telegraphed the uppercut. Ispis is out of the way. Ten seconds left in the round. Works to the body. Ben step in and the official ordering a break. And that will be where the second round ends. That round seems a little bit more decisive in terms of Paul Ispis. That first round is where the questions will be. It certainly appeared in the third in the second round that Paul Ispis took more advantage of his openings than did Juan Carlos Romero. Romero seems to be telegraphing, letting his fist know what's coming, whether it's the dive in or whether it's the setup to the uppercut. He's going to have to tighten that up a bit. And for Paul Ispis, if he can maintain that kind of mobility and stay active to the outside, use the reach, he'll continue to have the advantage in this coming third round. Walking back towards the center of the ring, bell goes, and we're on for round three of this four-round lightweight encounter. Ispis again, trying to test with that right jab. Using that right jab to force Romero to the outside, and that left hand landed clean. Romero goes to the body. Ispis landed on the counter. Ispis getting a little bit more loose here. Ispis tries it up high. Romero stepping ahead again. Oh, Ispis digs in again with that left hand of the draw line. Romero's been stung hard a couple of times in this third round. Romero working to the outside. Ispis trying to step back in. Ispis working outside to in very well so far in the third round. Put that jab in his face, boy. Well, Carlos Romero's got to feel a little bit desperate here in round face. three as Ispis has taken the advantage. Romero stepping forward but not getting enough behind him. Out of the body. Oh, up high went Ispis with the left hand. Now batters the body of Romero. And Romero not finding anything as this fist is out of the way. Again, Romero trying to pummel to the inside, but not landing anything of substance. Oh, up top went Paul Ispis again. That time it was the right hand, and again with the right hand. Ispis taking advantage again of Romero telegraphing his way in. To the body he goes. 
and then steps in. Stay busy in there, Paul. Stay busy. Oh, up high, when is this? Stay busy in there, To the body goes Romero. Again, the official will separate them. Because you have to run back, sorry. Romero dives his way in, but he telegraphed it. And again, Ispis was able to shrug him out of the way. Ispis breaks him through again with the left. Romero staying tough in this fight, but it's Paul Ispis doing the majority of the damage. The nose of Romero is bloody. Romero trying to walk him down. Up high went Ispis. Ispis trying to work the body. Now up high. Again with the left hand. Under 10 seconds left in the fight. Ispis almost to the body. And then the left hand again up high. And that's the end of the third round. Well, from a first round, it was awfully close to a second and then a third. That have transformed this into Paul Ispis' fight. Juan Carlos Romero still looking very stoic in his corner. Doesn't seem to be all that bothered thus far. But he is in a major amount of trouble. He's going to have to find a way to solve Paul Ispis getting to his inside in this fourth round. Romero is going to have to stop telegraphing those punches. Stop telegraphing the dive in. Stop telegraphing the uppercut if he wants to find a way back.
both men trade. It was Ismus over the top. And that will do it. Paul Ismus with a great performance. Second round on, he was in total control of this fight. The scorecards have been passed in. I thought the wave off was in. Oh no. 